Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorr and just one moment, moment, I'm just gonna check how many likes I got on my last video. Huh, yeah, that's not good enough. Oh my god, that one didn't get enough views. Ah, oh, that one didn't get a lot of engagement. I should have gotten more comments on that one. I should have done better. I should have had better energy. I should have been more funny. I should have... So... I just wanna freeze for a second and get to the point of this video. The point of this video is people pleasing. I have noticed that I have a problem with people pleasing. I wanna get the approval and likes of everyone around me. I want everyone to like everything I do. I want to set a positive example for everyone. I want everyone in my team, at my work, to look up to me. I want everyone to see me as a perfect ideal, something positive to strive for, a good example for everyone and for everything. I want to be flawless. I don't want anybody to have a problem with me. I want everyone to know that they can come to me with anything. I want people to like basically everything about me. So I have a problem and that problem is people pleasing. And I think further down, I think that problem is pride. I'm a person that values pride a lot. I value honor, I value character, I value integrity, I value being able to do the right thing. I am a person that uh, relies on, as an INFJ, introverted thinking to improve on myself, to perfect myself. But I do so for the goal of extroverted feeling, my secondary function, in order to be a positive influence on the world and on the tribe and on the people as a whole. INFJs are people pleasers and so are ISFJs and the simple reason for why and the simple uh, positive thing about this because there is something positive about this. The positive thing about this is we need ideals. We need people to look up to. We need people that can show us something good in the world. We need to believe that people can be good, that people can do the right thing, that there are people out there that value character and integrity and that have a sense of honor. Imagine if we couldn't hold people accountable. Imagine if nobody took responsibility. Imagine if somebody did something wrong and refused to own up to it. Imagine if uh, you had a person in your life, okay, you probably do uh, have a person in your life that doesn't own up to or admit to having problems. You have people in your life that will always do the wrong thing. You have people in your life that will make the wrong choices. You have people in your life that uh, will consistently be making mistakes and blaming other people for it. And I think INFJs are a counterweight to that because INFJs, they try to do the right thing. I don't mean that INFJs do the right thing. I mean that they try to. They try to show character and integrity and they value it. They value it to a very high extent. They want to do it, even though in some way it is idealism, pure idealism. No person can be perfect. No person can be good at everything. No person can always have a good day. No person can always be a good example. Everyone is human. And um, as an INFJ, it's easy to miss this. So as an INFJ, I think it's important to be a human ideal. I want you to think about not no longer being an ideal, but from now on being a human ideal. And what I mean with this is you're allowed to do things and to fail or to struggle doing so. And you're allowed to be vocal about your struggles. You're allowed to say that I'm trying to be good at this, but I'm struggling with this or that part of it. I want to set a good example, but I sometimes have bad impulses. I sometimes get angry. I sometimes say things I shouldn't. I want to uh, do the right thing, but sometimes I get selfish or sometimes I feel like I should do something for myself as well. I want to uh, set a positive influence and be, have a positive influence on other people, but sometimes I have a bad day. So be a human ideal. That means inspire other people not just to be good at what they do and to have moral integrity in what they do, but also be human in a sense. Inspire other people to be human. Inspire people to be open about their feelings and struggles and hardships and about the bad things they do at times and the failures they have. And the, 
mess ups they make on the way to growth because you know growth is not a straight up path it's a uh, two steps forward, two steps back kind of thing, you know, it's okay, two steps forward, one step back, hopefully, it's two steps forward, one step back, it's just uh, that you have bad days, and you have good days, and every time you set a high goal for yourself, you also set a high fall for yourself, so basically, if you jump, you're also going to fall down, if you climb, you're also going to drop, now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't climb, that doesn't mean you shouldn't jump, it means that you should accept that for every time you set a positive goal for yourself or a higher target for yourself, for every time you demand something of yourself that is difficult for you, expect that you will struggle. When you write New Year's promises, expect that you will struggle. When you, sorry, when you tell yourself to improve something about yourself, expect that you will have problems reaching for that goal. Basically, be a human example. And to start off that goal, all INFJs, share something that you are trying to do better at, or share something you're trying to be good at, but also share why you're struggling with that. So, I am trying to be good at, and I'm struggling with it because, I'm gonna go first. I'm trying to be better at listening but I am struggling because sometimes I try to take in and listen more than what I can. And um, third step, what do I need to get past that? I need to be better at prioritizing. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you are gonna have an amazing day today.